is going to be the first thing that you do with the note cards. We're going to do a little bit in class on this. Um, hopefully we'll make this easy. I know Ms. Banyard's talked to you about that. So hopefully you guys will be able to handle this one pretty easy. A thesis statement is a sentence that sums up the central point of your essay. Um, and believe it or not, there's two systems for doing this. And again, if anything that I say contradicts what Ms. Banyard said, go with what she said. All right. If you're doing an informative essay, you're going to use this formula, A plus B plus C equals conclusion, or conclusion equals A plus B plus C. Um, if you're doing an informative essay, this is actually pretty easy. The argumentative essay is a little more complex. But if you get this one and then you get an argumentative essay on the Florida State test, whatever they call it now, um, you're going to hammer that. You're going to do really, really well. All right, so my informative essay. At the dawn of the 20th century, as nations were building the military, alliances were forming, nations were competing for territory, and national pride was at an all-time high, tensions began to rise in Europe. The result was World War I, which was one of the most catastrophic conflicts in human history. All right, so um, went with A plus B plus C equals conclusion, and in this case, this one actually worked better, but um, A, B, and C are just details. So you're going to pull out your three main details that you need, and then... You're going to add the conclusion or the end. Like, what what did you come to? What was the conclusion? And that's kind of the hard part right here. Tensions began to rise in Europe, and the result was World War I, which was one of the most catastrophic conflicts in human history. That's what my paper boils down to, and that's what you're looking for. So big point one, big point two, big point three, and then in a couple words, what does your paper boil down to? You can also use the opposite, and it didn't work as well for this this one. Um, again, conclusion, World War I was one of the most catastrophic conflicts in human history. Tensions began to rise when countries built their militaries, started competing over land, joined forces with other nations, and citizens had large amounts of pride in their nation. Once again, this right here is the conclusion. A, B, C, I kind of went with D2. Those are right here. Um, and again, informative essay is easy. What you're really looking for is this. What's your main thing? If there's one thing that you want somebody to learn, what is it? And then the three or four big reasons why you came to this conclusion. All right. I forgot to put a meme there. Argumentative essay is a little bit more difficult. Um, this is actually how they taught us to do it when we did, when I did a push training a couple summers ago. Um, Counter argument is X, Y is argument, Z is conclusion. And you're going to start the thesis statement with although or while. Um, make sure you start with a capital letter. And then I broke it. All right. So, um, and once again, we should be talking about this in class. So this is just kind of if you need more help with it. Um, start with although or while. Although George Washington laid the foundation for the presidency, because Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, Lincoln is considered the greatest president in U.S. history. So once again, my counter argument is X. So if you're doing an argumentative essay, the first thing you want to do is you want to hit him with the counter argument. George Washington laid the foundation for the presidency. A lot of people say George Washington is the greatest president. I don't really disagree with that. But in my case, my conclusion is, is that I actually think Lincoln was because he freed the slaves. So, again, start with although or while, start with your counter argument, George Washington laid the foundation for the presidency, and then my argument is, because Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, he is considered the greatest point president in U.S. history, and that is your conclusion. Um, after you get kind of the details of this, this right here becomes the hardest part. You have to kind of put a transition word there, and once you put the transition word there, um, it kind of makes it flow a little bit better. Once again, if Miss Banyer tells you something different, go with what she says. I'm only here to help. If you have any questions, make sure that you ask. I can't read minds. Um, once you get past these, these two stages, the thesis statement and the digital note cards, it's smooth sailing. This is the hardest part, and um, you're almost done. All right, that's it. Bye.